So speaking of Trump, he's he's actually going to be in, in Eagle Pass tomorrow. Oh, he is. And Biden's going to be here. So oh, kind of competing narrative on the border. Obviously, two very different messages. Trump saying that there needs to be a lot more enforcement. Uh, Biden is not sure what he's going to be talking about. His moves and policies. But what's the reality of what's happening here on the border? How would you describe the situation here? On the well, there is a lot of illegal people coming across. You know, that you see them everywhere. They're scattered. And actually, there's a place called um, Casa Romero, which they all go with there. You know, it's like a, what is it called? Um, a shelter. Like a shelter, correct. Like a shelter that they have there. And you get to see a lot of people there. My mom lives close by. Every time I go visit her, you get to see a lot of people. Um, even in the neighborhoods, they're walking around. Um, I mean, they're they're everywhere. You you can you can tell who they are. You know, there's some uh, Venezolanos. Um, from, yeah, a little bit of everything. <coughs> Has it gotten more or less over the past couple of months? More. more. So there's more now than. Say, I, and I don't know. If, I don't know if it's just here in, in South Texas, or is it all the the border? You know, up to El Paso. I I don't know how how far that goes. So here in Texas. Do you feel like there's more migrants now than there was say this time last year? I think so. Yeah. I go a couple of times to Matamoros, and you get to see a lot of those people now everywhere as well. And they, it looks like they're starting to live there. Yeah. And so what do you hope comes out of this visit tomorrow? What do you feel? I'm sorry. Does the migrant situation, does it impact life? Does it, does, does it impact your life at all? It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect me, you know. Um, I. I believe that it does affect to other people, but to me, I, I don't know my brother, but it, no. we don't we don't That's discriminate. They don't, we don't they don't, they don't bother us, they don't, you know. They don't. And I don't think they're they're here. I don't hear. I don't, I don't think they're here to stay. I think they're here to, to go up up north, not to stay in Brazil, because Brazil it's, it's it's not that it's not a good yeah, place. Yeah, it's it's not it's low uh, low income here. I don't know what to say. I would hope everybody just, you know, sees that there is, it is real. Because they're trying to say that it's fake, you know what I mean? Like they're saying like, oh, that's not true, you know, what's going on? Oh no, it's very real here, you know. It almost even scared my wife. She thought it was like zombies. Because I don't know if you saw like half a year ago when they were crossing, like, and they just came in in full force. Nobody stopped them. And my wife was like, you know. God, you know, they're coming to kill us. I'm like, nobody's coming to kill us. They're coming to get their, you know, they're gonna cross, they're probably gonna get a check and a phone and, you know, they're gonna be shipped somewhere. It's not like that, but it's very real what's going on, you know? Like, so you can see them throughout town walking? Oh yeah. And it's different. Um, we saw a whole family of, you know, they're all blonde and blue eyed. They're from Ukraine at a pizza hut. And they're just there, you know, Trying to get, you know, somewhere, you know. But like outside of the Pizza Hut? Or no, no, they're inside Pizza Hut eating. Eating. Yeah. I have a feeling like it's not just Mexicans crossing over. We have other people like, you know, they're coming from Africa. They're coming from, you know, South America. They say they're running from things. You know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, I'm not in total agreement with it, you know, because I know people that did it the correct way. And they had to wait to cross the border. Uh, I'll give you a real strange scenario. My daughter's a ballroom dancer, right? For Fred Astaire Ballroom. And they had somebody from, I don't remember if he was from Russia or the Ukraine. And they didn't let him cross. So why are they letting all these other guys cross that could be, you know, MS 13s and, you know, this guy that just wanted to dance ballroom. You know, he flew in. He, I don't know. He tried to come in through Mexico as well, because he. I, I don't know what his thing was with his visa. And, so, no, so he thought, oh, let me 
try to do what everybody else is doing. Oh, they stopped them. You know what I mean? And, you know, this good looking, you know, white guy, you know, he's nothing, you know, he's not brown like me, he's, you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't think like, oh, you know, we're going to stop him. No, they stopped him and they didn't let him cross. So, but because he tried to go through the passage, like where you walk across the border, you know, like with everybody else, yeah. well, he didn't come crossing the river. So maybe he should have crossed the river like everybody else and he would have been given a phone and a check and a bus ride, you know what I mean? Right. You see the buses over here at the hotels? I haven't seen them yet. Well, they're all along the feeder, uh, uh, the frontage road where it would be 802. Mm -hmm. And you see there's a Motel 6 and there's a bunch of hotels. You'll see uh, if friends that we know from, you know, 30, 40 years of back, you know, they did it correctly, you know, you know, they should too. Why are they any better than them, you know? And, you know, I, I just think it should have been done differently. Not just like storm the wall, you know, or, you know, just, I don't know. It's a little crazy. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about it today, but.